We're almost a week away from October, the month where people across the nation spread awareness for breast cancer. And today, 10 fighters and survivors got a chance to feel glamorous again, all thanks to a local organization. Marilyn Dart shares their emotional testimony. In these chairs are women with stories, tales of heartbreak, strength, and survival. I am 150 one day's cancer free today. It is a 10 year anniversary, so we want to make it bigger and better than ever. As a glam squad brings on the hot pink sass, Yvonne Brooke shares what it was like when she received her diagnosis. It changes everything. And in my case, I was facing my own mortality as a single mom. As makeup is applied and some wigs curled, Brandy Leonard, who's going through her third battle, says the diagnosis was only a part of the grim news. The first thought that comes in your mind is you're dying and, you know, not being there for your family, but then your hair. Brandy says it's like losing a part of yourself, which is why Jose Salinas co-founded the Pink Divas. Lo and behold, 10 years later, we have all these beautiful women. You know, this is a club that you kind of don't want to be in, but you kind of want to be in if you do have it. And it's the Pink Divas, and these ladies all become sisters after that. After the glam is done, these divas go to a photo shoot with co-founder Liana Gonzalez. Yeah, you look great. We have a sexy look, we have a casual look, and then we do a look with a pink wig. And the whole time they are bonding, laughing. One of the most vivacious is Amanda Medina. <laughs> By her smile and attitude, you probably wouldn't know her cancer is stage four and it's metastatic. I have a lot of faith and I think God is my ultimate judge. So even though science says I'm stage four, I don't really soak it in. Medina says it's taxing, but she's still the woman known for her long lashes and cowgirl boots. So sure, breast cancer may have taken a lot from these women, but they say the battle has given them strength, resilience, and the power to decide when their story ends. If anything, I'm stronger. I'm a giant redwood tree. You just got to live your life to the fullest and you don't worry about what people think or what people say. Find you what makes you and be you. Madeline Dart. Beautiful. Three News.